One way to calm the mind, discover your inner artiste. These impressive drawings and paintings are the work of students. I was never the art kid. I don't have a ton of natural ability. I went to school for engineering and math. Julie Beck was painting and drawing on her own time while working as a graphic designer. In 2010, she enrolled at the Academy of Realist Art in Boston. I'm really liking the line quality of what's happening up here. Today, Beck is not only a professional artist, she's the Academy's assistant director. It was really refreshing for me to walk in and have people tell me, we can teach you to do what you want to do. And it doesn't matter if you have a background or if it doesn't matter if you have previous training or a degree in art. Everybody starts from the ground up. Realist or representational art often attracts less attention in today's contemporary art-focused world. Representational art is simply art that has somewhat of a recognizable reality to it. Instructors at the Academy of Realist Art teach students the technical fundamentals of drawing and painting through observation. We are teaching you how to see. We cover things like value, shape, form, contrast, all the things that are important to visual information. Students take an intensive drawing course developed by 19th century French artist Charles Barg. Here you can see it's much more of a leaning square and yours has a little bit more of a kind of perfect square. There's a bit too much of a right angle feel to your jawline here. Online classes allow the Academy to grow beyond its presence in Boston's Leather District, even welcoming international students. They train at every level, including complete beginner. They're never required to keep up with other people. Um, and we want people to really slow down and internalize and understand the information. When they do, the experience can be transformative, says Beck. So it really becomes a more meditative process where the entire world kind of falls away and you're singularly there with yourself and your thoughts. Some studios are outdoors. A new class at the Umbrella Art Center in Concord could inspire the next Ralph Waldo Emerson. Who knows? It's been really a salvation in a way to have something to go out and focus on and to relax with. The recently renovated Art Center offers an arts and environment program that includes nature journaling. Instructor Patty Braden is a longtime bird watcher and outdoors woman. The journaling aspect came in when I wanted to reinvigorate this thing that I have loved, which is birding. I want to welcome everybody here today to the intro to nature journaling. Nature journaling is simple, says Braden. Requirements are a notebook, basic art materials, and motivation. Go out into nature, city park, your backyard, your local trails, open your senses up and then start writing down what you're experiencing and then get that pencil out and draw. And no judgment because it's your journal. It's the fact that you're drawing to learn, not learning to draw. Brayton's classes are online, but occasionally meet in person. I like using a ringed binder like this. Over time, says Braden, nature journals become rich with personal reflections as well as climate and plant-related information. You focus more, you see things that you never saw before. You're discovering things about the world around you and it has an overall effect of calming your mind. As Frost said, way leads on to way and it is really true with nature journaling. No matter the weather. And the Academy of Realist Art has two other locations in Canada where the school was launched. As for the Umbrella Arts Center in Concord, it is now offering online classes only. The Arts Center recently completed a massive multi-million dollar makeover, complete with a state-of-the-art performance hall and theater. So they are looking forward to welcoming audiences back to the space when it is safe to do so. Up next, escape the electronics and stretch your legs.